Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the World of Risk Global Domination. I'm Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online. Today, we're back with some Classic Fixed. I am going to be the purple guy, and I'm going to be playing Classic Fixed in a way you've probably never seen before. Standard Classic Fixed with unstable portals, no blizzards. So it's going to be neat to see how this plays out. I forgot to add alliances. Uh-oh. Um, we're going to be playing World Domination Classic with fixed cards. We've got no alliances, no fog, no blizzards, and we have unstable portals. So if you don't know how the portals work, you can see them here. This, this is the portals when they're closed. They're closed on turn one. They will open on turn two for one turn. And at the end of turn uh, two, after the red player has gone, we start turn three. The portals are going to shut off and move. And they're going to be in different positions. And then for the entirety of the turn three, as every player takes that turn, they're off. And then on turn four, they're going to turn on for that one turn. And then at the end of turn four, they're going to turn off and move again. So every other turn they move, and every other turn they alternate on or off. You get to see where they are before they turn on for that turn, but... I hope green is not going to roll me out of Australia. I I'm the purple player. I'm hoping to get my troops out of Australia before he goes buck wild for it. Um, where do I go with my troops is the question. Like, even if he takes this one, I can come through the portal and go into North America. Not even next, this turn. <clears throat> I can't even offer, offer him an alliance. He's just going to hit my three. Please don't be that guy, man. I will pull this out. I will pull out. Oh, risk global domination. He doesn't even let me get a turn because I, for all he knows, I'm going to add in here, hit his two and bring the three in. It's just terrible. <laughs> terrible. Well, that's cool, because next turn the portal's open. Somebody might goink that from you. I want nothing to do with over here. Where do I actually get a card is the problem. I actually don't have a one to hit, right? I have no ones to hit. I have to hit a two stack. So if I have to hit a two stack, I'm going to get out of red's way, because red can make an 11 here and go down and take Australia. So I think if I move left to get out of Red's way, Red will go fuck green in Australia, and I can bring my four in to whatever stack is left here. And then maybe I can move through this portal to North America. What else do I have? I don't really... I have to hit a two to get a card. I was going to add a three here, a three on one, four on one this, and bring it out, but then he left a two here to make it difficult. So I will hit this. I lose nothing, so I get lucky there. I have no fortifies that make sense, so I will pass. This is going to be neat. By the way, we've got General Kant from the United States. We've got General Saber from Germany. General Chumston from Germany. And then General Tanigawa from Spain. And Arlo Onder from Spain. So we've got two Germans, two Spains, one American, and me. It took me maybe 15 minutes to get this game. I think a lot of newer players are terrified of portals. I'm just sitting there with a standard classic fixed game hosting it. And I have portals on. And just... Nobody joins. If I if I do a normal classic fixed, fills up immediately. But I do it with portals. People are like, that's that's too funky. But if I have blizzards on, it fills up quick too. So blizzards are fine. Alliances are on. Or that's fine. Fog still fills up reasonably quick. But I put portals on and people are uh, 15 minutes to fill the lobby, right? And I had to sit there. I had uh, three Spanish players in the lobby at once. And I'm like, is this a bunch of friends? One of them left. I don't know if these two are friends, but... I wanted to play the game. White is already a bot. So we are also playing with easy AI difficulty. Okay, so Chumston has left. This 5 is likely to roll my 2 or the 4. Like, this purple 2 is now gone. This 4 is about to be gone from this 6. I am in a lot of trouble, and I lose this 3. Okay, so the game's already over for me. Right, I lose a 3 stack in Australia. I'm losing a 2 in South America. And I will lose the 4 in Siberia to this white 6. Because the 6 can't hit anything other than my 4. That's Unless yeah, unless he actually does go for Australia like my bait was. He does. Okay, perfect. My 4 can come down and I don't lose the 4. My game is not over, but it's real bad. And green's now toast. Yeah, that's why you don't roll a 6 on 3 at the start. And now, actually, do I take Australia? <laughs> the portal opens... I can come in through the portal and bring my five down and fortify my four. <laughs> I can bring all of my troops into Australia. Let's go. 
Well, things are looking up. If, what was that, 10 seconds before that? I'm like, well, my game's over. 10 seconds later, no ask, no win. Looking pretty fine. Sorry, I was looking at the mirror just above this monitor. But the game's looking pretty good, too. Oh, no, Blue's going to take it. Don't do it. Don't you do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can't. Stop it. Australia's mine. Get the fuck over there. Oh, he's going to bring a seven down, isn't he? All right. So what do I do? How do I get all my troops into... Oh my god, what are you doing? Leave your seven here. Leave your seven here. Be a noober dog. Don't fortify. Don't... No, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, he only makes one. And green's going to go back in and hit it. Makes it easier for me, mate. Lose this two. Perfect. Now roll this all the way out. Four on one, three on one. He doesn't. I can make white hit green. You want to see something cool? Six on what at one, and then the uh, well, it's an easy AI, so maybe it doesn't work actually. Um, white bot's gonna roll this too, right? I should make this a five just in case, so it rolls the four instead of me. I will, I will try this. This will be funny if it works. So I go four on one to China. I bring my seven up. If the white bot a attacks out with the six, it brings the full stack because it's not bordering anybody, so it won't split. So if it adds to the six and comes out, the full stack comes out. And if it rolls again, it will hit the four. It won't hit my nine. So I'm trying to manipulate the white bot into hitting the green four. Because I want green weak and killable later. I also made this a five. So if this bot rolls the five on two and it buffs this four and it has nowhere else to go, it will hit the blue four before my... Oh, it added to this five. Damn, the six will attack out, maybe? Yeah, see? If it made this a six or a seven, it would have hit either of the fours. He's so lucky. White bot's going to cause a lot of mayhem, which I like mayhem. They fight the bot, I get strong in one position, right? <clears throat> uh, now the six is in my face. I will move. So red's, uh, red's little suicide attempt down here didn't work. That's what I mean. You don't fuck with Spain, bro. I'm telling you. You ever seen the Mask of Zorro? You just... I don't know if that has anything to do with Spain, but... <laughs> oh, fuck. You're a racist. Antonio Banderas is from somewhere else that's also Spanish, but not Spain. So how do you not know that? You can't attribute all Spanish people to be the same country that's racist. Here we go. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. So, what does red do now? He doesn't even really have a good portal to come attack green. He hits the two, because he hates green. Nope, he's gonna... Oh, he's doing this. Oh, wow. Okay. This portal's open. I've only got a... Like, next to nothing. I need an artillery so I can just trade. Does blue go gung-ho? No, it doesn't. If I lose this to the bot, I am gonna cry... I need to make this bigger. I'll make it a six. The thing is, I'm trapped against this bot six right now. Maybe I go up to the portal, I hit the portal. I don't want to hit a two, but I might have to. What does green do? Does he give me opportunity for something? I mean, if I hit this portal, green can't come through the portal into here, which is funny. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah, okay. So now I can hit the one and leave this white four. And I can stack this nine, make it an 11, say. So the six won't roll me. I can have the bot stacking against it. And then I can unleash it later. Look at green. You're going to blitz a two on one, buddy boy? I don't think so. The three on one will work, probably. Yeah, there you go. 89%, that works for you. Pink's very close to taking Europe, so that's also something to consider that's a little scary. Also, 
portals are going to open. Green might try to move through this portal, which would open the white six to going this way or through the portal. I want the bot to contest with pink here. Blue might also and red might also though. So I don't think pink's going to get Europe anytime soon. I do make this an 11. Make sure the bot cannot trade on one card. I'm also going to back this off here. And we're going to chill and we're going to get an artillery because I'm calling it. Uh, send dudes. I am wearing the shirt. Which sending me a dude is okay as long as I get a cavalry next turn. Or artillery. I, I'm not fussy. Just don't send me another dude. One is enough. That's what she said. Okay. Bot stacks in the portal. Maybe rolls a five on four, but probably rolls a four on one. Okay. Four on one and three on one. Good. So I have easy card over here again. Now green. Oh. Now green's going to have a rougher time trying to go through this portal. Good. I do need to move this 11. I didn't want to move the 11 down because if I'm in Siam or India, I'm kind of blocking these guys from getting into Australia. I want them to go into Australia, right? I want them all to fight for Australia and me to kill people for cards after they're all weak. That is my plan. Uh, White did miss a card, so I don't have to worry about a trade this turn. White bought us 28 troops. I'm still on 17. I am like the weakest person on the board, but it is what it is. He gets the green two. Okay. I mean, red's technically weaker, but he gets three troops now at the end of this turn, right? So he'll be at... I am <laughs> on par with blue and green. So when the portal's open, white won't have a trade. No chance of it. Red's going in. Oh, he hits the two and he sits on the portal. Oh, it's daddy time. Red's about to die, dude. I need enough over here to make sure I can kill the red too. And then this. Right? Because if green goes in... Say green trades and goes in on red after this portal slam next turn. I need to be able to kill... Green might... Let me see. This turn, green takes Australia. Theoretically. And then red comes through and smacks him. And then green trades next turn and smacks red back. And then I kill red for four cards. That's a lot of magical stuff that I'm hoping for. This guy just might do something crazy instead. Yeah, destroy green. Is there a way I can kill green with the two and the one here? I don't see it. I don't have a trade. Right? I can... One... Uh, wait. Portal. Three, two, one. I go fully here. <clears throat> like, what's the way to kill green? I make this an eight. Seven. Seven on three on two on one. With perfect dice on this three, I could do it. Or I make this a 14. And then I go through four, five, three, two, one. Without using this. Well, I come over here, I slow roll this down. Green gets a big trade on three, doesn't even matter. Okay. So blue has a big trade on three, green has a big trade on three, because that's how the world works. Not for me. I don't get to taste that. Can I kill red? Can I kill red on his three cards? He's not going to hit that. 11, so I'm 14. 13, 12. 12 on 9 into a 1 into a 1. It's not there. So I don't open the red 9 to me. I go left 1 and I sit. I want to make sure red can't get on me. So I will go here, and I will go left one. I could try to kill him, right? I go 12 in the Middle East, and I'm not doing it. Cavalry. Always! Dude, it's not like... There's not even a world in which this never... Like, this. You guys... Like, I don't record 10 games and then get the game where this happens to me, and I'm like, that's the one for YouTube. Of 10 games that I record, 8 probably make YouTube, right? Like, I have a decent rate of, when I'm playing, uh, getting good stuff for YouTube. I really do. So, like, it's not, like, to, to just every game this happens, every game, every time. <laughs> it, it, it's crazy. I have Red dead if he doesn't trade. If Red doesn't trade, I'm in a really, really nice position. But we know how that works. Everybody gets... Pink also has a trade on three. So we have one bot who hasn't had a chance yet. 
Blue, green, pink. Trades on three. He's going to kill red right now. Or he's going to fail the kill on red. He's going to fail the kill on red. He didn't add anything to the three. He's going to fail the... No, he's going on blue. He's going to... Oh, no, he's going to just take up your... Okay. Now red doesn't trade. No, red trades on three. That's what I mean. Blue trades on three. Green trades on three. The bot has missed a card, so he will trade on three, probably. <laughs> Pink trades on three. Was it also the big trade? Oh, would you look at that? It was the big trade. Does red have a big trade on three? Can I have, can I use my one time? Oh, that portal closes. That's bad for me. Can I kill him still? I gotta go through this four now. I have, a, I have no trade. Are you fucking crazy, dude? No! <clears throat> Red lives! I can't 16 on 4. No! <laughs> Unstable portals! No! <laughs> no, why you do this to me? I am very, very upset now. If I had a trade on four, I would trade, kill red, trade. I would just dominate everything. And if red didn't get to jump behind this four, <clears throat> and this five's blocking me. I Like, what do I even do here? If green adds here and breaks pink, that's my only hope. Green adds here and breaks pink. But even still, I have to go up with a 16, roll a 15 on 11, and then I can't because I have to split a bunch to come this way. I, like, I, even if this four is gone, I can't kill red and split this way. I'd have to win, like, an 11 on 11. He's going to break pink this way. No, he doesn't even break him. Oh, mother of everything holy. Why is this the way that it has to be? White's going to trade on three and kill my five stack? Aish. If I stay here, the three or four will roll the red two, right? Cavalry or artillery or dude trade? I don't even write the story. I, <clears throat> I started with two artillery and it just, it happened. I'm here to watch Kilted do what Kilted does best. No trade on four into the dude trade on five. Don't even think about the 10 on seven. You're going to go into the three, the seven on the two, and you're going to pop the pink bonus. Now this seven on two, please. Oh, four on two is fine. As long as the seven goes in here. Yes, not into me because you're an easy buy. Yes, you are. So red trades on three and... At least it's harder for him to kill me because of the seven. He, I don't think he can kill me because of the seven. So I think I survive. Can I use my one time for red not to trade on four? No, I've already used the one time for him not to trade on three. So I don't get a one time. This shirt, I need to change this shirt. This is, it is, it's doing some evil shit to me. <laughs> he can't even take the bonus back because the bot leaves the four in there. <clears throat> oh my God. That unstable portal, dude, it ended my world. Right? If he still had the 11 in here, and I had the 16, I would have had like a 14 on 11 or something. Right? Or a 15 on 11. And that's like close enough to 100% I would have tried it. And a 5 on 2. Like 5 on 2 is 93%? I would have tried that, and the, and the other one's like an 8, 85 to 90, depending on what it is. He did, no trade, daddy time! Oh, uh, can I kill you with the dude trade? Ping, pong, ping. Slam, slam, slam. Even with the dude trade, I get four, five, six, seven. This is a 20. Unless I lose four on here, it should be close to 100. <clears throat> I'm going dude trade into the red kill, baby. Oh, if you fucking sit here with a five stack, I will kill you. I hate 
everything right now. Oh, you better bring it in here. Oh my God. If he sat here with a five and I couldn't do the bing bang slam, I would fucking cry. Green, don't do this to me. You better take Egypt out. If you go up one, you're going to guard him even better. Great. Well, I guess I can do this one instead. <laughs> Stay. Okay. I kill Red. Holy monkey balls. <laughs> After you're crying and bitching, the red kill will come through. Unless I lose a seven on one on one on one. It's like nine nine something. Okay, five on one on one. It's still nine nine almost. Okay, now it's a hundred. There, there's no words. Now, please don't lose four troops on this three. Lose zero. That's what I'm talking about. Finally. Okay, I lose one there. Is this a hundred? Ninety-eight percent. Mm. That's a big trade into a big trade. Oh. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Um. Hmm. Do I work on North America now? I don't think I can even work on North America. Do I just ignore North America and stack here? Let the bot get big in North America and deal with these people? I think I do. Where's my next, uh... Bonuses? I'm not going to get any of those. But I will go here. Bring this here. Okay. I am single stack Asia in a four player one bot game. Bot's going to take North America right now. Which is great. Probably leaves the troops in here. Might even fortify more in, which would be fun. The seven might come into the four, which would be hilarious. Because the five can go down, down, and the seven fortifies over. It could actually be happening. Four on one, seven fortifies into the four. It might all oh, eight. It's more likely to fortify over here because my 22. No, or, okay, goes down here. <laughs> Guards against green. Pink can roll a nine on four. Probably breaks, breaks the bot. No alliances on. Now we're playing no alliances. Classic fixed with unstable portals. Blue's got this weird portal guard here, but now the portals are going to shut off and move, and this 12 will be useless next turn. But he had this open to guard from breaks. This 6 is going to be useless next turn. Is there a world in which we break pink or kill pink? I can trade, make this uh, 35. Can I kill pink? No, because of these two ones. What if, if he takes this? There's 27 pink troops here. And I go through four. So I have to go through 31 troops to kill pink and get his cards in trade. Not quite worth it. <laughs> what do you do, Blue? You've only got this one and you've got a bot five just sitting here stopping you from getting cards? I like that. That helps a little. Does green take the Congo one out? If green takes the Congo one out and moves this three somehow, there's a world in which I think about it. I guess I don't even have to go through the three. I can go one, one, one instead of three, one. <clears throat> Take the Congo or break pink. That's even better if you break pink. Okay, you hit Egypt. Please don't split and fortify back and chill. You split, fortify the six out and chill, of course. Oh, oh, oh so the Congo one here is just a really awkward... So what do I do in this predicament? Trade. I'm going to keep uh, Siberia because I will own it in the near future probably. It's over here. I knock blue out of here. No, because portal opens and he gets cards anyways. Um, I don't want to border white. So I'm going to take a card and then stack this. Nobody broke pink. White's not going to break pink. So I could break pink. I'm not going to. I actually don't want to take a card off. Um, oh, whatever. I don't want to take a card off white because I want white to get four troops. But I'm going to knock white under 12 territories. So they only get three. I'm going to stack on the portal. Get a wild card. I have a big trade on three. Um, that's good. I could look to do something with that, maybe. 
Like if green doesn't trade and rolls the 12 on seven, loses eight troops, goes to 25, plus is five, gets 30 troops, five cards, something like that. Six on six roll bad. Dude, that's amazing. Cause sure you get that extra five, but you just lost five. So 30 and four if he doesn't trade now. And if he rolls that four, if the pot rolled a six on six straight up. That was probably partially because I moved my stack off of the white border. Bots like the stack on, uh, wait. You're taking a card here and not with the bot. Uh, I was hoping he'd roll that. <clears throat> wait, maybe I don't kill pink, actually. So the bot is going to stack on this portal. I don't think I kill pink. I think I take this portal and split my stacks so big that the bot, with its bonus in a trade, will hit a 9 or a 12 instead of my two 20 stacks or something like that, right? They won't be 20s, but they'll be higher than 12s and a 9. Because he can make a 12, 22 here if it has the big trade. Or I use the wild to trade just to ensure I have two big stacks on these portals to force the bot to hit pink or green or blue. What's the 18 do? Does he hit white? Please no. Damn it. Why would you break the bot there? That sucks. Dude, don't you know what I'm trying to accomplish? That's so annoying. Come on, bro. We got to kill the pink player. What's green do? We've got what? One American, one German. And one Spanish. We've got a German bot. Oh, if you hit that seven, I'm killing the bot for its three. I'm going to try to take over North America. He's going to take Congo out now. Could kill Pink 29 for four and take Europe. He's not going to take Congo out yet. Oh my god, you suck. Uh, if I take this one, the, wait, the bot doesn't even have a portal, so I have to give the bot a card. It can roll this five, I guess. I could actually really destroy pink. Hmm. This one in the Congo is so annoying for me. He broke the bot. Bot trades on three, maybe? I think I'm gonna hit this four. I don't have any reason to let him hold that. I'm gonna sit in here too. If he doesn't trade, I'm gonna kill him for five. No alliance is on, so I can't communicate thumbs up with green or blue, can't coordinate kills or anything. Does the bot have a trade? Of course. I predicted that. Big trade on three. It's going to come through the blue three. Good. Moves everything. So this will be five. Comes through here, maybe? No, it stops. Makes it a seven. Nice. Now it's threatening. It's guarding, actually, too. So it's going to be... The bot will be a pain. If pink leaves a nine here, I maybe I don't kill pink. I let the bot hit him. Portals are closing and moving, right? As soon as Pink's turn's finished. Pink doesn't have a trade. I should kill him for five, maybe. Five for 29. Especially if green hits Congo. Very tempting. He's backing away from the bot as well. So for me to kill Pink, I've got to split and then come through like this. I've got to go through a green three. And then I finish on the portal. I mean, I trade. Big trade without the wild into taking his five cards. That's actually really good. I could actually kill him without the trade. No, I'll kill him with the trade. Blue hits the one anyways. That helps me so much. I'll just stay in Middle East then. I will let the bot get strong and do bot things. Because I think that will that will benefit me. I'm playing around with bot. Weird. Weird game. 
We are going to be able to put pink in the dumpster, though. We killed red. We're going to kill pink. We're going to be in a four-player game with two bounties. It, not that bounties matter in ranked, but it is always nice to be the person that does eliminate people from the game. I like to do that. He rolls a three-on-one fails. Oh, succeeds. I kill pink. I kill pink and finish on this portal, and I let the bot out. Do I actually try to hold this? I don't think I do. Do I need to trade now? I have a 36 to kill his 28. If I get bad dice, it's not worth it to get the extra plus two in somewhere. In Northern Europe or whatever. Maybe I'll finish up here. That's a good roll. Hmm. Kill pink. This is slow attacks. Pretty good dice. I'm not going to lie. Pretty good dice. And he had bad cards, so I will use the wild card. And I will stack where? I'll put the 11 in the middle. Or I'll put it on the portal? No, they, they, Blue's got a portal. <laughs> uh, white doesn't have a trade, so it can make a 15 here at max. I'll do this. Make a 13 and a 23. Uh, need a dude now. No trade on four. So the bot does have the capability of making a 15 here and or a 16 here and hitting the three 13 it's not going to it's going to attack out here at least the 20s trapped from doing stuff the portal will open he can break me through the portal if he wants oh, hits the green two is nice one of the portal now it's stacking against my border <laughs> Now if, the, now, if the bot had a portal access that turn, like if the portal was open for that bot turn, I probably don't try to hold this. But I know I recognized it wasn't. So now they can try to break me if they want. I think blue does. Nothing breaks the bot. I say well played. I'm complimenting him. Maybe he's less likely to break me when I say well played. Now he breaks me anyways. Okay. But what happens? I don't think green breaks me. I go one, 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 bring this over to the portal, defend from the bot with the portal. Like blue's gonna be trapped in here when the portal closes, anyways. Uh, white's gonna maybe try to hit the three, but it can't really. It's only gonna. It's gonna get four troops. It might try a five on three actually. Um, we'll go one, two, three, and then the bot can't really get through the portal. Right at most, the bot can make a seven there. So I don't really need to guard the portal too heavy. It's more likely to hit threes than my seven. <laughs> There's a world in which I hold Europe for a couple turns. Um, Blue would have to do a lot to, to break me this time. Like I think if the bot's best chance of hitting this is to put everything here, it's gonna five on three this, I think, pretty sure. I hope it succeeds. Nice. That means this nine will stay. So now, now blue wants to get a card. He's got to go through this three with a six on three, or he's got to come through the five. I'll have to trade or this nine. Blue has no good card here. If he has no trade. He'll, he has to do a non hundred percent roll, which is even better. Would be hilarious if it failed. I got to be careful. The bot can trade and get the eight from North America, right? 
or the five from North America, plus the four from this territory. So he can, Bach could get nine. It could put 19 troops down and make this a 32 next turn. I do have to be concerned of this turning into a 32 and hitting me. Which is crazy, because you're just looking at this board and you're like, now I've got Europe. And then the next thing you realize is, oh, this could actually just be a 32 that hits me. I, I hate bordering bots for that reason. Oh, he's going to hit the bot nine. Nice. Is he going to also break me again? No, he doesn't break me this time. Fuck yeah. Fortifying up to the Congo. Gotta protect the home. Did I get a dude, by the way? No, but I got a second biggest trait. No plus twos. Um, what do I do with this situation? Bot may come through this portal, but at least this eight would guard it. I think I just trade and make a big stack on this portal. He's doing this weird, like, I'm not worried about green. Especially since, like, this could happen at any time. He's gonna break me too. Alright, cool. I'm gonna signal crying face. You're gonna leave a 12 in here? That doesn't make sense to me. Okay. I mean, it's okay. We're basically even in troops. I'm not too concerned. And this white bot will probably hit that. And I have a 39 on the portal with attacker's advantage. I got a dude now, but it's too late. Now I need artillery again. Uh, see what happens. See what happens. What does the bot do? Trade on three? I don't know. It gets at least nine troops. It could roll this 13. I'm going to put five here, four here. Its best card is... Oh, it's going to try a two, what, 11 on 13 is its best card. It might even skip. It tries the 11 on 13. It gets good dice. Fuck you, green. Taste it, bro. You don't even have a trade. If you want to get your bonus back, you've got to go through the portal. Or you four on two. That's what you get, dude. Yeah. Mess with the bull, you get the horns. Wait, it's on four cards. How much does he hit the bot? Can I kill the bot for the trade? Kill the bot for the trade, that means... I'm still in a three-player endgame with three humans, right? Does blue hit the bot? He probably does. I don't trust either of these guys. Like, Blue should be very wary of me having a 39 on a portal if he hits this one into my eight. I'm not going to say well played this time, because last time I said well played, he broke me too. I would love green to hit this. Like, green losing five troops, knocking the six out of blue here is really good for me. He's going into the portal. Not fully, though. Okay. He's guarding it with a 16. Because I could wreck blue's day. We're, we're All three of us are rather equal, though. Is the thing. What does green do in this scenario? Does he try a four on two? Does he portal through the blue three? Just to, Like, now the blue three here is in his way. So he's going to have to hit the three if he wants to come through. He hits it. Good. Now he does this. Portal is open for me. If he breaks me again, I am going to break him. Even if this is a 12. I can break whatever way I want. Kill white for four. He switched to fortify. He switched to fortify. So white will trade with the portal open. I need to open this 19 to go left. How do I open the 19? Oh, no. I back off. If I back off, the 19 comes out with everything, and it's a giant stack on a portal. Watch this move. Watch. I'm going to abandon Europe, and I'm going to try to hit him with the funky Samson right here. Because I was going to open this to go back. It would split going back because it's bordering me. But watch this. It's going to come out and touch the portal. And because it's only bordering itself, when it comes out with this 19, it's going to bring the whole stack. It's not going to split. So it's going to have, if it trades, 
30 plus on this portal. And that could hit the 7. That could hit the 16. Damn it. Oh, it didn't have a trade, man. That's okay. I might be able to just kill it then. 18 on 7. No, nope, it's going this way. Oh, there was a chance, dude. There was a chance that it did some dirty stuff. I gave up Europe for that play. Now I wish my 54 was open to kill white. Oh. I tried I tried the dirty Samson. Didn't get him. Now what? My 54 is trapped. And the bot 8 is in my way. It might fortify back. We'll see. I don't really care. I have lots of territories. I mean, I'm fine for troops. I'm above them. And I have a cavalry trade like normal. A bad trade like normal. Cavalry trade is not normal for me, so whatever. It's my second normality. He's got a big boy stand. Go to Mongolia, bring my 54. I don't want to be... I, I go on the portal. Take a card here, I fortify on the portal. So when the portal's open next turn, I have access to everything but blue. And then white might fortify the eight back to the portal because it would be bordering me, which gives me Europe back again. Um, at some point, green will knock blue out of here. And that might be now. And if he does, yeah, beautiful. Blue might not be happy that he has two bonuses and just smacked his stamp. Look at these guards he's got going on. A uh, white will trade. What do I do? I don't trade my cavalry. Um, say blue. No, blue can't kill me. There's no, there's no blue killing me now with some magical carpet ride type stuff. And I'm gonna put 57 on this portal. I. No, I didn't get an artillery. Right. We're, cavalry trade and then into dude trade. Yep. We are back with regular scheduled programming. Now, if blue wants to fuck her dog green, he's got to do a reach around opening my stack. But I have portal access next turn anyways. So it does trade. It has the big trade. Must be nice. Probably four on twos me. Going to take the bonus though, right? There's a chance this 10 fortifies back because he's touching a 12 now. Or he's not touching anything over here. No, it brings this off. Because this was also not touching anything. The portal was closed. This is good, but I think green probably breaks the bot through the portal. I don't know what blue's going to do. You guys probably think I was crazy for giving up Europe, but this is the way this game is. It's, I think I can get green and blue to fight and I can also get the bot to hit these guys. So I don't need Europe. And also like until he just took Africa, he was only getting an extra two and he was getting an extra two. So if every five or six turns a bot hits one of their stacks or something, or they hit a little bit of each other, I'm, I'm net neutral with them anyways. And plus, I've been getting an extra one for territory, so that also cuts their lead in half. <clears throat> I'm presuming he breaks that. Damn, it's dry in my house. My throat is like, how dare you? Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a card on India for Sherzies. Let blue uh, 53 go go supreme. Uh, my 57 is just gonna be on the portal, and I'm gonna make it so it's trapped. That's fine. I can have a trap. The bot has three cards in North America unbroken. It's daddy time right here. This is good stuff. Um, where do I put my stack? Ukraine? Uh, no, I'm going to just put it in Afghanistan. I'm going to try a three on one for a card. If it fails, then that's okay. Okay, it works. I'm coming down to Afghanistan. Off the portal. Because I, I don't want the bot to stack the portal if it fortifies. I mean, it will anyways, I guess. It can come out if it wants. I want this 10 to fortify back. It's going to hit this, I think. I'm pretty certain it hits this. Oh. Yeah, green's about to taste it. And it might also taste this. Maybe I should have stayed on the portal. 17 on 16. Come on, light this up. Light this up like a Christmas tree, baby. Don't tell me green's the luckiest man in the world. You are so crazy. No way. 
Green is the luckiest boy in the world. Okay. So, I'm trying to signal him to hit green. It's the best I can do. I, I forgot to put alliances on. What do you want from me? This is classic risk without alliances. If I had alliances on, you better believe I'd be allied with these guys. Like, do it. Punch them, punch them, get them. But, like, uh, alliances. I made the mistake. I made the oopsie because I just recorded uh, a Europe Advanced Capitals game right before this, and there was no alliances, right? So, and then I went and switched to this, and then I forgot. Wait, why are you going up? You're leaving your pathway open. You didn't want to hit the two. Okay, I want you to go this way. I really do. Where do I hit my card? Kamchatka? <laughs> He's going to split on his portals. Oh, this bonus bonanza play. What do I got for cards? Okay, I did get a cavalry at least. Can I get an artillery, please? Well, four on one into Kamchatka, stack my, stack this otherwise, and move it to where? Like this green, like, oh my god. I like, if I, give me the, give me a decent 1v1 against either of these players and I'm happy, right? Maybe I shouldn't have let the bot get stronger, I should have just killed it for four cards earlier. But I don't know. <clears throat> Like, I can, like, this guy will get smoked by this bot soon. And, like, they are going to use the portals to gank each other. Like, at some point, blue is going to gank green, I think. It's, like, something will happen in the near future. I'm going to not order bot. And I'm going to back this two off. Make a 69 stack. Did get an artillery. And blue's now open this way as well as this way. But you are probably... You're not touching my 69. You're not touching any stacks other than the 20. You are most likely to put troops here. Thank you. And it maybe it rolls a 4 on 1. Maybe it rolls the 8 on 3 or 8 on 1. But it should think about this. It is an easy AI, so it's maybe less likely. Okay. Go ahead and hit my 2 stack. That's fine. All we need is this to glow. Just glow for a sec. Oh, it's not going to. You are so... But this 21's coming out somewhere. Oh, baby boy! What are you guys going to do with a 42 on a fucking portal this turn? You know what my goal is now? I trade, and I stack on this portal. So this can only hit a 20, 22, 26, 39. This cannot go anywhere, but into them hard. They're gonna feel pain. Like they ain't never felt it before. I am taking this portal and I'm sitting on it with such a big stack that white can't do shit about it. Yeah, and fortify back and I'll go ping pong, fortify in. Oh yes. Oh, you're gonna break it in the back? He needs to open it up behind it so it doesn't. I hope he doesn't four on one, three on one, open it, because that'll be annoying. He just breaks it and stops, right? He doesn't know better. He doesn't know that he needs to open the 42 so it can go up. Because it would go this way, split, and then this wouldn't be as threatening. You can break that. I could theoretically maybe even knock the rest of the bot out. Just so it doesn't even try to take cards other elsewhere. Maybe I go ping pong, ping pong, even hit Japan and then fortify this portal. Because <clears throat> this would be hilarious. Oh, if he knocks it out of Europe, you damn right I am fucking knocking it out of Asia. Hmm. Okay, boys. Okay, boys. We've been training for this our whole life. Uh, Western United States or Eastern Australia? Eastern Australia. Blue's gonna get tasted in a minute, so... Tasty cake time! I'm gonna hit the bot. Don't worry, guys. I got you. Teamwork. Ooh, I didn't like losing two on that. And two on that. Okay, that was an investment, though. That was a big investment. Because now... Oh, wild card's good. 
I'm getting rewarded for my plays. This 42, look at it. It can hit a 20, a 22, a 29, a 39, or my 74. It can't hit my 74. This is rolling. Now it's got less stacks here to roll with. Like, this might take a card, but this is doing something. <clears throat> this has to do something. Oh, I cannot believe you, Easy Bot. You're such a wimp. Ah! No, I was so bad with that, Boba. No, it brought 27 out? Because it wants Europe now. Oh, I hate you, but I should have knocked it out of Europe, too. If I knocked it out of Europe, too, and sat in green, I would have been another 10 troop cost investment. But I would have had to knock it out of here and maybe leave, like, a 10 in Greenland. Because it couldn't trade, and it would have had to roll. I could... Ah. <clears throat> Damn it. Oh, it's okay. If it takes Europe, that's good for me. Oh, man. That would have been so good. Bot manipulate if it like if it was an expert AI or a hard maybe even a medium. Oh, he finally went into green. He's fed up with green getting all the bonuses. Do you also hit the nineteen and pop this, or is that enough? Oh yeah, you definitely want the Congo. Stay there. Oh yes. Oh yeah. You got fed up with green's bullshit, bro. I understand. I understand. I'm getting fed up with white's bullshit. He's not doing what I want him to do. I was trying to get him to... Remember I left Europe so he would dingle bang some slam stuff? What the hell did I just say? So he would <laughs> so he would come through with the portal and do stuff earlier. That's why I gave up Europe and he didn't do it. And then I did magic over here and he still didn't do stuff. If it was a harder bot, like if it was medium, it probably would have done it. Hard it would have done it and expert it would have done stuff. But easy bot is easy. Now he's going to go break this. And the 29's not open, unless he keeps going. The 31's also not open. Blue's got both of his stacks trapped right now. Actually, no, he doesn't, because this can open the portal. So he can actually go through this portal or into here. He's got stuff. <clears throat> Perfect. Beautiful. So I'm going to do what? I'm going to take one in Kamchatka. I will be open with this portal next turn. I also have a wild card. I'm about to win the game. Let's do it. And we got another dude card. What does that leave us with? Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, wait, White's gonna fucking clog up that portal, isn't he? I should have maybe left this portal. <laughs> We'll see. Maybe it doesn't go... No, it'll come off the portal. Oh, it might even do some other stuff. It's going to come off the portal? Because this is not touching anything. Yeah, it does. Nice. So blue can actually go right through this one into the 22 or through the white one and back into here. Hit the 23. Blue has options to really destroy green, especially with a trade. He can literally take... Australia back by smoking the 23. He could also full send on this guy and bring the 29 out. <clears throat> Either is great for me. Like, if they go hard enough into each other, I'll kill the bot for the four, just so the white player gets a lower ranking, if I can. Um, put everything on the 34, please. I would love to see everything on the 34. Oh, everything on here. That's okay. So the 34 is enough for your mission, then. He has a mission, right? He's slow. Green's also slow. Okay, so he doesn't hit the 22. He is going to go this way, but he's too slow. No, he's... Do you fortify? What in the world was that? Okay. Uh, okay. What if the bot doesn't... So let's say the bot doesn't trade and it rolls the 17 on 20. Maybe it makes it a 20 on 20. Then I would kill it, right? For sure. I gotta get my 77 off here. <clears throat> I'm going to Ukraine this turn. He's gonna take a Congo card, not open the 27. 27's trapped, 37's trapped. Blue's got all of his troops trapped. So if I could kill green, theoretically, and, and like if I could kill the board and keep him trapped, I would have a great position, but yeah, okay, cards. 
we're going to Ukraine um, now because it's going to continue to give me access to the full board. I don't want to be with my stack trapped anymore. Another wild. Okay. Do I need to double wild to trade a non-dude trade? The question is, can I get one card that's not a dude so I can do a big trade and then next turn do a big trade again? It would be nice. Right? Like, if I get two non-dude cards in a row, that's two back-to-back -back big trades because of the wilds, right? You guys are all like, fat chance, idiot. The bot did trade, by the way, so it won't be on five cards. Also makes a very expensive pathway for blue to retake this. Oh, he's getting a portal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you do, Blue? You're very slow. I like this game. This is a fun game. I hope you guys are enjoying it. What's he doing? <laughs> what he put his he's gonna roll three on one for a card, sure. I hope you get it. Good. He had other three on one as well. Cool, so you get your card. Now what do you do? Bring your 37 out. Bring your 37 to here and green's like green is gonna have to go through this portal or this to get out. Yes! There we go. Now we're pointing at him. Both of his stacks are pointed. I mean, he can't really get to this, but... Oh, white bot, why won't you just do what I want you to do? Now I come through to this portal and sit on this portal. I'm just going to be... Do I sit on this portal? Yeah, I think I do, because then... Green can't use it and blue... Uh, what's he doing? Yeah, you're stuck. You're going to go this way? He's sad now. Uh, what do you do? Are you going to go through the bot to run away? Nope. Double down. Taste the rainbow. You know what? I'll leave the portal for you, Blue. You can leave if you want, wimpy boy. Sure. Sure, bud. <clears throat> um, I'm not trading this. Absurd. I'm actually... Going to get access to a portal this way. Non-dude card. Yeah! That'll teach you risk. White gets five for all his territories. Do it. I mean, there's always a chance this happens, right? It Obviously, it wants to take Europe first, but this is always a chance. Might even come off this portal. Should be good. We want blue to have access to portals. I mean, I took this one, but he can always take this one. Oh my god, if that went in, that would have been funny. Okay. This is fun. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying this game. Now what happens? Does blue self-destruct? Is it time... Do you have a trade? Do you smack green? You got the cavalry trade. Or a dude with a plus two. Cavalry. Does a 22 go bye-bye? You could also abandon Oscar. Nope, 22 goes bye-bye. Okay, good. And now what? He brings the 30 over here to guard. Yeah. <coughs> Interesting. Now, does green not trade? I can't... I, I, it, the balance of the game's not broken yet. They didn't trade enough troops yet. Hmm. Like, can I count on the bot? Depending on what green does, I can, the bot will break them. Because it's got this hit, this hit, this hit, portal hit, 17 on this. Oh, this split's not enough. <clears throat> this is not enough. You can't guard all three of these territories enough. Oh, you can try that. Something's coming through, I think. Um, hmm. Oh, 
spot gets what? A lot of territories. Yeah, like I, it doesn't even have lots of cards to take. So I trade. I'll take the Siberia one. I make this big. And I make sure to do this. So the bot can't get through Siberia. So it's it's less likely to be able to succeed at cards. I'm kind of forcing it into green. We'll try that again. How many times have I said that this game? I'm forcing it into green. There's got to be a world in which it's a plus 11 finds a way into green somehow this turn. There's no way this 22 doesn't break green. <clears throat> Come on, daddy. Yes. Yeah, I know you're going to roll stuff here. I thought about making a bunch of twos and threes in here just to kind of screw it up a bit. Now. I hate you if you don't do this. <laughs> what the fuck? He's the luckiest dude on the planet. Now I just have a random 35 in the middle of fuck nowhere. Do I give white Asia now? I should have, like, just straight card blocked the bot. The problem was he got 11. Like, I'd have to make a bunch of 15 stacks, right? To, like, actually block it and force this. <clears throat> it's not a bonus breaker. It's a taker. He's going to Siam now with a stack. He'll have this portal next turn with two spots that green has to defend. I have more troops than both of them. How do I... Oh. Is he done? One, 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 four through? Yeah, he's doing this way. So we can go 15, eight. He's actually full sending on him. No, he's not. He's just... Making sure the portal's open for the bot. You're running out of time. He ran out of time. Didn't get the four or five. Green's not going to break that anyways. I'm not going to break that. I love that his troops are out here, though. I really do. There's 25, man. What? Yeah! What? Okay. Oh, right. He's card blocked. <laughs> he's got to hit the butt. That's beautiful. Um, now what? Well, it's going to hit this and split. He's still going to be card... Well, portals, I guess. He'll get out. I'm not going to trade that. <laughs> Bought a couple times and then stack my stacks together. I'm preparing for craziness. Right? I think blue is very fed up with green's shit. Got Germany versus America. Right, I did take out Spain. Let's go. I eliminated both Spain players. You guys, I hope you're proud of me. Splits here. Does it hit this aid event? It's also going to take Afghanistan. <clears throat> Circling the, the 46. Is that enough that 17 rolls again? Oh, 14 and 12, daddy time! <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yeah. Go all the way in. You know what, green or, or white? You know what? We can make amends. If you're going to do this, we can make amends. Oh, man. And that 14 to block blue from doing this. He'd have to come off the three down. We can definitely make amends, bro. Because I think I'm really close to ending the game. I mean, I don't think it, I am really close to ending the game. What are you going to do? It's the six. You hit the 14, too. Game's over if he hits the 14, I think. I just killed Green. Oh my god, he's so weak. Yeah. Right? I go Greenland, Iceland, South America, Africa. Trap Blue. I can't card block him. He's got four cards, though. 
I'm only 17 ahead. Double trade. If he doesn't trade, I have a chance. He trades on three. Ah, you motherfucker. Do I kill blue and then fuck green up? Maybe I just kill blue. Kill blue and smash green at the same time. And then hope the bot also does stuff. It's at 93. I'll be under the size of green, but I get attacker's advantage on him. Like I hit the 9. I hit 20 of him and then finish blue. Can I do it without... Uh... Yeah, I can do it without trading, so I can preferably get something better. 27 of him I have to hit? Yeah. 12, I'm okay. 6 and 11, okay. Great dice, please. That's good dice. Okay, that's a double trade. I should be able to... Oh, the dudes are here. That's okay. Uh, where do I want it? Whatever. I'll just do uh, two big trades. Bring this right into his face. And I have a dude trade. Because... You know what. You know what. I have a dude trade. I'm 88 to a 66. I have two card advantage. I have a dude trade. He is in a lot of trouble. White will try to take Europe. Whatever. Don't care. His 20... The portals are closing. Right? So his 20 can't do shit to me. Uh, what's he going to do? Blitz into my 63? Oh. Scary. Uh, 17 can do a reach around, but it's got to go through seven bot troops before it can even break my Australia. Like, he's going down. Good game. Now, he should wreck... He's on 69, by the way. So I will uh, hit him with the old... Boomer dab. <clears throat> if he was a good enough player to recognize, he would smash white with everything he has. He has to know I'm going to kill him now. But I don't think he knows. He's he's unaware. He's going to take his bonuses. And he's going to sit and hope that I don't destroy him. And he's wrong. Good game. I go... Uh, you also path correctly. Oh. Well, that's fine. I don't even need the dude trade to kill you. I got 71 to kill 69. Mmm. Iffy, right? That's a little iffy. Do I have a plus two? Uh, not anywhere good. Oh, Let's get good dice. Even without good dice, he's done. Even if I don't kill him, he's done. Oh, actually bad dice. But we got 100%. Now we just kill white. And it, yes, obviously I would have preferred to give uh, white a lot worse of a position, but uh, not the easiest to do with two human opponents with lots of troops. And even with him, like I could have, it would take me a while, maybe 15 minutes of bullying him and keeping him tucked in a corner until he bots out while I'm killing the bot. And it would feel like griefing from his spot, right? Like, ultimately, I just I should just kill him and then the bot. And it, it, it is unfortunate that this guy has an easy AI gets second place. It is unfortunate, but... It is how the game works. Wish it was a little bit different. I wish his bot stayed in the game, but maybe after 10 minutes it flagged it as a, as a loss. Like, hey, like the... If you have neutral AI, the bot flags as a loss after 10 minutes. I wish this stayed as an active bot with cards, trading, attacking, everything but it flagged after 10 minutes and gave it a loss. Something like that would have been uh, 
think that'd be better. Okay, robot, what do you got for me? Hey, a big trade! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, everything's coming up kilted today. Is it? This is beautiful music. Beautiful gameplay. Beautiful life. I hope everybody's having a great life, man. Oh my god, why would you say that? Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm high on the wind. Leave me alone. I'm cracked out, bro. Monsters, energy drink, pre-workout. Ah! I appreciate everybody that watches my channel. You guys know. It means a lot that so many people, like... It's a little crazy to me. Because I know many of you watch my channel on a daily. Oh, I don't get to finish them here. Or... Or the best dice of life? No. Like, a lot of you guys watch my channel on a daily. Like, it's your part of your ritual, man. And I'm like... I, I Sometimes you just sit back and you like... Okay, a few thousand views per video or four or five thousand. Whatever they end up getting. And then the good ones get seven or eight. Or, or, like, the good ones. I think all of my videos are good. But, like, the best ones get seven or eight thousand. I'm like... If you actually sit back and think... That's thousands of people. That's thousands of you guys that are just like... Let's watch this idiot play some Risk. Like, every day. And, like, that's not a small number. That's, like, you picture having five friends over. Like, that's a good bunch of people. Like, a thousand people? I, I don't get it. I am, uh, but anyways. Shut up, Ginger Man. Uh, purple player wins. Let's check ranks. Probably pretty low-ish. Two intermediates, three beginners. Not bad. General Chumston. Sure, whatever, bud. Uh, thank you guys for joining until the end of the video. Please subscribe if you're not already. Watch more Risk Above My Head if you got more time today. And if you don't want to watch that one, then wait till tomorrow. I'll have another video for you because I do it every single day. Later.